Dad, I am so sorry. I was just trying to help. <laughs> it's okay, Mom. Hey, I know you had your heart set on putting that Michaela in her place, but there's no way I'm going to be able to sit on a plane for five hours. I guess you're right. <sighs> Unless I strap you to a surfboard and check you through baggage. <laughs> Why don't you just take them in a coffin? At least they're padded. This is a great idea. We could get them a little portable DVD player time and just fly by. Perfect. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. Let's face it. You tried. Roxy tried. Roxy, that's a great idea. Daddy, Roxy can take me. Oh! No, no. No way, honey. Why not? Roxy's taken me to plenty of concerts before. Not all the way across the country. Besides, let's face it, if I'm not there with you, that Michaela's manager's gonna steamroll right over you. Oh, come on, Dad. I can handle Michaela and her manager, and I'll have Roxy. Remember? Roxy like a puma. <laughs> Honey, we can't. You're still just a kid. But I'm your kid. And you taught me how to stand up and fight for myself. And I'll have Roxy. Face it, Dad. It's all falling into place. Not for me, it isn't. <laughs> Why not? You know I can do this. You can trust me. But that's not the point. Then what is the point? The point is you're not ready to do this on your own. Yes, I am, Daddy, and you know it. Come on, Dad, let me go, please. That's it, Milo. I don't want to talk about this anymore. That's not fair. I don't have to be fair. I'm the dad, and I'm not letting you go. Why are you treating me like such a baby? Because you're acting like one. But, Dad! No, Miley. Not another word. Fine. How about three? I hate you. Molly! Molly Ray! 